In this medical clinic in central Somalia, Hawa Gali Yusuf cradles her son. Farton is four. He's severely malnourished and dangerously sick. Farton's family are farmers, but months of extreme drought have killed most of their livestock. No livestock means no income, and no income equals no food. We lost all of our livestock because of the drought, and the drought was caused by no rain. Most of our livestock was gods, and if there is no rain, the gods cannot survive because they cannot graze and there is no water for drinking. Earlier this year, Somalia's president declared the country's drought a national disaster. Long stretches with no rain had scorched the earth and forced more than 440,000 people from their homes in search of food and water. Some are living in makeshift camps across the country, relying on handouts. The droughts also sparked a cholera outbreak, with many forced to drink dirty water to survive. When I was in Baidoa, I found out my child had diarrhea. She drank water, and that is the source of the contamination. Somalia has been here before. It battled a famine caused by drought and exacerbated by conflict back in 2011. More than a quarter of a million people died. The United Nations is calling for urgent funding to tackle this crisis before it gets even worse. Well, the situation in Somalia is very serious. We haven't declared a famine yet, but we're very close. Very serious malnutrition. Uh, probably more than 200,000 children are going to suffer of severe malnutrition in the country. And now we have cholera on top of this. So we really need to pull all our capacities and resources together to stop this. Somalia's rainy season is meant to start this month. But for now, there is little sign of greener pastures. Katerina Vitozzi, CGTN.